I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential functions. Here is uh, question number nine from a test paper. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. We need to write equation from the graph in the form of f of x equals to a b to the power of x plus c. We are given three points on this exponential function and we also see that there is a horizontal asymptote y equals to 1. The function approaches 1 as x approaches negative infinity. So from this information you should be in a position to write down the equation. So let's see how to do it. So we are given the function in the form of a times b to the power of x plus c. So let's begin with this information which is as x approaches negative infinity f of x approaches 1 right so so if I substitute this value here what do I get if x is negative infinity that is to say on the right side if I write b here if I write negative infinity plus c right and f of x is approaching 1 so let me write 1 here so anything to the power of negative infinity, we know b has to be greater than, uh, well, we'll assume b to be greater than 1, okay? So we are assuming b greater than 1. Well, b could also be within 0 to 1 since it is growth, right? Growing function, right? So growth. So if for as a decay, it could be between 0 and 1. Okay. Since B is positive, we can clearly see that the first part, B to the power of negative infinity, will be approaching 0, right? So this is where it is approaching, correct? And so we see that the value of C should be 1, right? So that gives you C equals to 1. Is that clear to you? So this is also a very important concept straight from... Here, we can directly write the value of c. So that was to explain. So now we can write the function f of x as equal to a times b to the power of x plus 1. Now let's use this point, which is the y-intercept. And the point here is x value is 0, y value is 4. So substituting 4 here for f of x and 0 for x, we get a times b to the power of 0 plus 1. So anything to the power of 0 is 1. Therefore, we can write this as 4 equals to a plus 1. And that clearly gives us the value of a as 4 minus 1, which is 3. Right? So we got a as equal to 3. Right? So let me highlight the values which we have already got. 1 is c equals to 1 and a equals to 3. Right? Now let's continue uh, to find the value of b. So now we have the function f of x, which we can write as 3 times b to the power of x plus 1, correct, from these two conditions. Let's use the next point 1 and 7. So using the point, let's call this point p as 1 and 7. In that case, 7 is the f of x, and we'll substitute 1 for x because 3 times b, right? Anything to the power of 1 is the number itself. So we can rearrange. We get 7 minus 1 equals to 3b. So 6 equals to 3b. Dividing by 3, we get the value of b, which is 2. Right? So we get the value of b as 2. And now we can write down our function. So the result is f of x is equal to a is 3, b is 2 to the power of x plus 1, correct? So that becomes the solution. So this is the equation which represents the given graph. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. I would like you to uh, go through the complete test paper where I've discussed 10 questions from a test paper on exponential functions. Hope you understand and appreciate it. 
Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.